These pictures speak a thousand words. Massive gathering at the Johannesburg CBD by the ANC Youth League and their supporters demanding one thing, pay back the money. If they don't pay back our money, we are going to burn everything that they belong to us. As the Youth League members and supporters coming from the length and breadth of the country, we came here to Absa headquarters, amongst others guided by the current call for economic freedom in our lifetime. Calling and demanding that the board and the executive management of Absa pay back the loan received from the South African Reserve Bank. While the youth league is paid, the current process of the public protector of finalizing the report. It is our firm view that the law was given and EFSA never paid back the money. Scores of ANC uh, Youth League supporters and fans have actually flooded to the streets of Joburg. About 20,000 in his own words have actually come. We were just told earlier on that about 13 buses from Force players, uh, you know, were just also making their way here as well. Uh, we've got people from KZN, from the Free State, from Northwest, from Limpopo, Mpumalanga, all coming here. And as the lions, as the young lions say that they want to occupy Absa. The ANC Youth League proposed the money allegedly owed by ABSA can be used to fund free education for all. Bank of and uh, the, the Trust Bank and First Class and the Rupert family, they must pay back the money it stole from our country. And the, uh, this thing at the Barclays, when they bought all these banks, we want that money back. So they will send this money back to the universities to avoid this thing of fees must fall. That 2.8 something billion must go back to our people. The bank says the memorandum will receive appropriate consideration. This is an old allegation. It was investigated by the Davis panel of experts, which was commissioned by the then governor of the SA Reserve Bank, Governor Tito Mbaweni. The panel found that there was no continuing liability for APSA to pay. The report is public. It is on the website of the SA Reserve Bank. And that is going to be our submission to the public protector because the conclusion of that panel was that uh, APSA had paid fair value for Bangkok and the nature of the assistance was the cleaning up of bad debts for a bank which was systemically important between 1985 and 1995. And that bank was purchased by APSA seven years after the Reserve Bank started assisting it. Despite assurances, there's little done to make headway in the case. The protagonists are still in denial. Well, just to bring you up to speed with what's been happening with the APSA Bank apartheid era money, who has said what and who is responsible for the missing billions of stars, starting with the who has said what. Uh, Pravin Gordon, the finance minister, dismisses the notion that APSA has to be accountable for anything. He says that there is no case against APSA. Also uh, coming in there, Maria Ramos, who's the head of APSA and uh, Barclays Africa, the CEO as well, um, also dismisses that APSA has any case to answer. In, case, in fact, she says that uh, APSA does not uh, have a case to answer there. Uh, Johan Rupert, South African billionaire, has also chipped in there with this comment, saying that uh, the SIEX report is a work of fiction and APSA didn't benefit from the Bond Corp uh, deal, to totally dismissing uh, what the leaked public uh, protector report had said there. Going on uh, now to look at uh, who's to blame, actually, for these uh, missing uh, billions. Uh, well, Julius Malema, as well, has uh, said uh, APSA controversy is a, a Zupta campaign, uh, dismissing it. He used to be the face of the black economic transformation. A surprise there coming from EFF leader saying uh, that uh, this is not a case that he'll be looking into now uh, because he uh, believes that it is a, it is a, a, a Zupta campaign uh, led and he'll not be getting involved in that. Uh, who's to blame for the missing billions? Tabo Mbeki, former president, says the decision to recover money rests not with me but with the finance minister totally absolve, absolving himself in this issue. And, um, more reactions there, or rather who's to blame for the missing billions? Trevor Manuel, that's the former uh, minister of finance, if you will remember, he said that he was protecting the interest of the economy against uh, any potential risk and uh, that is his excuse there. Who else is to blame for the missing billions? Uh, the Reserve Bank itself has, says they concede that they had an opportunity to recover the money but they simply did not. And a curious mind would ask where did it all start? So this is what allegedly transpired. In 1985 the South African Revenue Bank gave a lifeboat to Bangkok to prevent it from capsizing. Seven years later in 1992 Bangkok and the loan was acquired by APSA. For the next three years till 1995, the South African Revenue Bank gave another 1.5 billion rand to APSA. 
out of which the 1.1 billion rand was invested in government stock and 400 million was invested in the Reserve Bank. Apps, on the other hand, paid a normal interest of 1% on the loan, whereas it was earning an interest of 16% per annum from the same money. And this is the money that is a bone of contention. The ANC Youth League has given APSA 21 days to respond to their demands and pay back the money. If not, they will intensify their demonstrations and campaigns and occupy all APSA branches nationwide. For ANN7, Natasha Piri, Johannesburg.